Robert Mueller. They just found out that Robert Mueller doesn't know who the two lead investigators that are against Donald Trump for the uh, Russian collusion. Uh, he said he didn't know when he went before the committee because the clock is running out on this investigation and they don't got anything on Donald Trump. They've tried to squeeze Donald Trump's attorney, uh, get him on some old taxes or something. And Cohen already said that that's already been cleared up years ago, the problem with his taxes or the filing status. That's already been taken care of to the IRS. It's already been dealt with. But Mueller was just using Cohen to, you know, squeeze him to get him to say something about Donald Trump, and it didn't work. So now Mueller is having to explain before this committee, congressional committee, uh, this dossier and who these lead investigators are, and he's got, he said he didn't know. So it's very strange that all of a sudden now he doesn't know anything. Because he knows he's got nothing on Donald Trump. Because he's bought and paid for by the Clintons. They've been paying him. They've been paying him to go after Donald Trump. And it's stupid. It's not working. People aren't buying this crap. Uh, who cares about this Russia thing? Who really cares if the Russians interfere in the election? If they did, good, good. I'm glad. Because that it helped Donald Trump win and, and pushed out Hillary Clinton, the globalist. And... North Korea, Trump is doing good with that. He said he's not going to do that summit meeting until uh, Kim Jong-un disarms five nuclear weapons. I think he said it's five. So let's see if uh, Kim Jong-un is willing to do that. He did release the hostages. Maybe he's willing to uh, disarm those nukes because those are pretty important things that need to be taken care of. And then we have Iran. And we have the leftist uh, sticking up for Iran. And there's... It's just crap. I mean, they're saying death to America and all that. It's like, no. And now we have Israel fighting with Iran and Syria. It's like, I don't even know if we should get involved in that. I think we should just let the, maybe we should let the Israelis just kill the, the Muslims. Just let them battle it out. I mean, it's not even our fight. It's not on our land. It's not near our land. But uh, I guess we have to back up Israel, right? It's because they're the chosen people, but I don't know. I don't know what to say about any of that. But let's just hope uh, that uh, Mueller, I don't know, it, it's not going to happen, but it would be nice if Mueller got in trouble for just filing false charges against the president and breaking into his, his attorney's office, uh, violating his, his rights. Stuff like that, spying on him. Hillary and Obama spying on the president. Uh, trying to get information on him. Paid for the dossier to try to frame him for Russian collusion, which there never was. Trump, it, it's retarded. Him and Putin, there's nothing going on between him and Putin. It's stupid as hell. Trump even sanctioned uh, Russia. There's nothing going on. It's hella retarded. That's the Democrats, right? But let's just hope that the this Mueller thing gets thrown out. This whole Trump-Russia thing gets thrown out. It's just so stupid. It's such a waste of time. They're just trying to stall Donald Trump from accomplishing what he's trying to accomplish, which is build a wall and create more jobs. They're just trying to kick him out like they, they're going to try to do a JFK on him or something. Because they don't want to make any changes. They want people all dependent on the government. They don't want people thinking for themselves. They want everybody... To listen to the government, what the government says they should do, and that's not right. We should all be, we should all be independent and only use the government when we have to. Government should only be an emergency uh, situation only. We should not be using government for everything. It should be deciding where we go to the doctor, uh, installing curfews, and saying we have to use mass transit, live in communist housing. You can't say uh, Jesus name out in public, stuff like that, because it'll offend people. Tired of it. We don't want the government telling us what to do when it comes to social issues. And we don't want them telling where we can live and what we can eat. And what we work, what we do for work. That's not right. That's what Bernie Sanders wants. Stupid. That's why I'm glad Hillary lost, because Hillary would be trying to instill some of Bernie's ideas, too, which are completely nuts. Because all that's going to do is make people like me, who believe in freedom and all that, we're just going to end up going out, separating ourselves from the Bernie and Hillary 
people because we don't agree with living like that in communist and socialist kind of society. We don't want to. We want to keep our guns. We want our freedoms. We want to keep our money in our wallets. We're not going to give it to a bunch of has-beens who don't want to work. So, sorry, Hillary. You didn't win. It had nothing to do with uh, whatever, you being a woman. No, it had to do with you being a socialist piece of crap. Like Bernie Sanders. Just a cheating piece of crap. So, have a nice day, Hillary and your cronies. You know what? You're probably not going to go to jail anyway for what you did to Donald Trump. And all those other people that you hurt, like Seth Rich and all that. But God knows every hair on your head. God knows everything about you. Good luck to you. You better start praying because God's watching and he knows everything you've done.